Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain and today I wanted to do another tutorial on lighting up cards and I wanted you to see how I've managed to do the, I think it's probably the easiest way of doing this with the materials that I have. Now, I've got my circuit made and all I want to do in this particular case, I just want to light up the cherry on top of the cake here. And what I've done is I've designed my circuit. So my negative is coming out from underneath where the battery will go. It goes up here and I did this in a complete loop. Put it down again up near the hole which I've marked. Down, across, over a piece of paper which is being added and folded and then continued so that it's there. And to start with, this loop was not broken. So basically it wouldn't work to start with. But then because I have these absolutely micro LEDs, I didn't want to put some tape down, make a gap, put another piece of tape down because these are smaller than a grain of rice. And if I hold it up, the LED is just between my fingernails. I don't know whether the camera is going to focus on that. It's just between my nails there. So it's really, really tiny. So I made the circuit all one piece and then I just took a craft knife and put a slit through the foil there. Now the stuff that I'm using for my circuit is, I've got it out of the drawer, it's just this um, tape that you get from the DIY stores. I have no idea what it's called, but it's a metal tape with adhesive on one side and it's as cheap as could be. But what I do is I cut it into a reasonably long strip and then I use my guillotine to make fine strips from it. And this is what I end up with. Now it doesn't matter that they're not perfectly the same width all the way down. It just needs to be relatively fine so I can do the work that I need to do. So once I'd cut my slit just here, I then took a spare Christmas light bulb that I have and I've marked one side with pink for the positive and the other is uncolored. And then I put the battery in and I tested out the circuit just by putting it on one set of wires. On the other side, make sure I've got it over in tape and then just closing the battery and it lit up. Okay, so I did test it. Now to pick up these minute, absolutely micro LEDs, what I did was I use a piece of normal sticky tape. And I make sure that it's up the correct way. And you may well need a magnifying glass to check that. And I made sure I knew which was the positive side and which is the negative. In the case of these, the bulb looks slightly green on the negative side. There is actually a T shape in green on the back of it and you can just about see it from the front. So if it looks a bit green it goes on the negative side. So I placed it there, just held it in place with a pair of tweezers for a second and tested that it was working and then just allowed the sticky tape to stick down and pressed it down properly. So that's how I created the circuit. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention is the outside foam. Now, I have been doing this with foam tape, but it doesn't give a very neat finish because the tape needs to be cut down. So what I found the other day were A4 sheets of craft foam with a self-adhesive backing. And again, I use the guillotine and just cut these down. Now, because this is A4, I know that I can get at least two sides out of there and just one strip. So a couple of strips of that will do the job nicely and it's pretty cheap. And it is exactly the right thickness needed for my battery, which is a CR2016. Now you can get other batteries 
that are not as thin as this one. These I got for 60 cents each. If you want to buy cheaper batteries, you'll probably have to put up with them being a bit thicker. But this is very thin and very light. So I don't have to put another layer of foam around here and I can get away with a very light card front. And I figured that A, you save money on a second row of foam and also you then end up saving money probably on the postage because of the size and the weight of your card. So it may still, even if the batteries are dearer, it may still pay to go for a thinner battery than a thicker one. I don't know. Depends where you live and how much your post is, I suspect. So anyway, in order to put this card together, obviously, if it's closed up, there's a risk that the light is going to go on, the battery is going to run down. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of plastic. You could use paper. It doesn't have to be plastic. But I've used plastic because it's going to be very obviously out of place when someone gets the card. And what I'm going to do when I put my card front on, I'm just going to glue around this edge here, all the way around, until I get to about there, and then I'm going to stop the glue. And the reason for that is because I can close that over. Once I've got my card front on and it's all put together, okay, this now obviously won't go on because the contact has been stopped. But if someone removes that, it will allow them to replace it still because they'll be able to find the area that it goes in in order to replace it. So if they want to store the card or they want to take it somewhere to show someone and, and don't want to risk it being on all the time, they can do that. And so that will go in like so. Here's everyone. So that will go in there and it will stop the battery from working until it's removed. Now I have put a piece of double sided tape on here so that when I do stick it together, this piece of paper will automatically be stuck to the top and it will be less inclined when that is removed just to create a contact. So I'm going to finish putting this one together and then you can see the finished result. So here's the finished card and you can see the little piece of plastic that I have and you can pull that out or slot it back in if need be. And if you want to, you can always fold that up when you put it in the post so it doesn't take up any extra room. And I've added a few little uh, pearls just to add a little bit of extra fun. And if I allow that to contact, you can see that thing lights up. If I'll put my blind down so you can see it better. Those little LEDs, micro LEDs, may be tiny, but they are still quite powerful. There we go. The cherry on top of the cake. I love that. Um, the other thing I would say is that when you're putting the card together, avoid using wet glue. I've used tape, double-sided tape on all of this. I have done cards in the past and the glue has actually gone into the circuit. So that wasn't very clever at all. And sometimes you know, it can soak through. You, don't, you have no idea if anything's happening until it's too late and your card is wrecked. And believe me, that is a very, very annoying thing to happen. So I'm going to push that back in there to protect my battery. But my card is finished, apart from a sentiment. I'm not sure what I fancy as a sentiment for this one because it will depend on what occasion I give it for. But I quite like the idea of saying, from your little mouse wife. I think that'd be quite cute. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.